Pastor Steve here, and I believe that I have a word from the Lord for you today. And that word is listen up. God wants you to hear what he has to say. You know why? Because it's absolutely the best thing for us. Yesterday, we looked at the fact that a lot of times we hear things, but we don't believe them. So we have to see them as well. But if we hear things and if we believe them, there's so much that God promises us. Check out some of these things. This is Psalms 107.20. It tells us he sent out his word and he healed them, snatching them from the door of death. You know, God's word is what actually heals us. It's the words that are spoken over us. It's the things that God has said. You know, when God said, let there be light, light appeared. When God said, let you be whole, whole and complete, you are whole and complete. You're healed. God's promises that that's absolutely true. For people understand this, they know this, and even God tells us this in Matthew 13, 15. For the hearts of these people are hardened, and their ears cannot hear, and they have closed their eyes, so their eyes cannot see, and their ears cannot hear, and their hearts cannot understand, and they cannot turn to me and let me heal them. You know, this is all permissive. All I have to do is open up my heart, open up my eyes, open up my ears, and allow God to heal me. Have you allowed God to heal you of all your sicknesses and all your diseases? He's willing to. You know, this was this was said right before Jesus gave us the parable or the explanation of the parable of the seed and the sower. Luke 8, 12 tells us this, the seed that fell on the footpath represents those who hear the message only to have the devil come and take it away from their hearts and prevent them from believing and being saved. Now you're saying to yourself, Steve, how is that, what does that have to do with healing? Well, actually that word saved is sozos. So this could also apply to our healing. It can apply to our prosperity. All these things that Satan wants to take from us, his intent and his goal is to make us have no respect for the word of God and to take it out of our lives. That's the first thing that he does. You know, the very next verse tells us this, the seed on the rocky soil represents those who hear the message and receive it with joy. But since they don't have deep roots, they believe only for a while. Then they fall away and when they face temptation. You know, these, these two conditions of our heart actually focus on our ability to believe in what God has in store for us. The first one is, is that Satan doesn't want us to believe. The second one is, is that we don't want to believe. So if we can keep this belief in where God's able to move in and work in our lives, then all of a sudden we can see phenomenal results in our lives, which absolutely positively include healing. Look at this. This is Luke 5.15. It says, but despite Jesus' instruction, the report of his power spread even faster, and vast crowds came to hear him preach and be healed of their diseases. Do you see what came first there? They went to hear him preach and then be healed of their diseases. The primary goal was not to be healed, it was to hear what he had to say. But when they heard it, he healed them all. All their sicknesses and all their diseases were absolutely taken care of because of the word of God. How awesome is that? Why not allow God's word to be able to speak to your hearts Start being healed. Read the Word of God. Spend some time in it. And I can tell you absolutely positively, He wants to work on your heart and heal you. Look, this is the word that I believe that the Lord's given to me for you today. Hear my word, believe and be healed. Faith comes by hearing my word. My word is a solution to all that ails mankind. You know, this is probably a pretty good word for each and every one of us. I know that it was a blessing for me. I hope that it's a blessing for you and it makes a difference in your life. You know, you're more than welcome to share this on Facebook. You can even go to YouTube and subscribe to our channel there. Go to awfg.today, download some of the resources that are there. Use it to your advantage. Go out and hear what God has to say about you. Well, God bless you, and I hope to hear from each and every one of you.